Imagine you're filling up a bucket and it gets fuller, 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 and it gets full. There's nowhere else to go. The only way to fix it is to empty all the water out and then again you can fill it up again. Imagine the ram being the bucket of water. However, you've got two pieces of memory within your computer. You've got the RAM, which is the fast memory, and then you've got the hard drive memory, which is really slow because it's much bigger. So whilst your computer is working, it's constantly swapping information from the hard disk into the RAM memory because the RAM memory is faster. But again, imagine the bucket of water, the bucket as you get open more programs and you go to more websites, your bucket is getting fuller, 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 until a point where it goes, ah, ah, too much, too much, and then your program starts going ballistic. And at that point, the only way to empty the bucket is to reboot the computer. Because that way you reset everything to zero, and now everything starts going faster, and as the day goes on, you're making, you're making the bucket go full, 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 until it gets really slow, and then you reboot. Now that you know how it works, we have to figure out why. So the first bit of advice is if your computer only has four gig of RAM, please double it to at least eight, if not 16. Windows 10 needs at least eight gig of RAM just to wake up and start going. Be aware of all the applications you're running. For instance, if you're listening to Spotify or you've got iTunes installed, I promise you, your machine is gonna go slower, 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 and then you're gonna end up rebooting it often to get the speed back. So if you're not using a program, shut it down. Another reason why you might end up rebooting your machine a lot because it's running slow is because you're either running free or really mm, clunky antivirus software. So speak to your IT guru and find out which is the best one to use. And remove the old one, put the new one on and you'll be amazed what a difference in speed and also will extend the life cycle of your computers.